day 38, 8, 12 a.m. in the newly decorated Big Brother UK All-Stars house. So, since we have gone down to the final 13, I have decided to treat our All-Star celebrity house guest as celebrity house guest. So, we've completely gone and redone the entire house so it's fit for all of our celebrities. We see that the bedroom has been completely renovated, not just stark white anymore. Instead, we have plush double vet beds, a whole makeup area decorated with clouds and parachutes, and it's really colorful and bright and sunny. Um, and I just think it's going to be a really nice place. We can see already that Allison and Cameron are in there at the makeup bar, kind of pampering themselves a little bit. Also, the bathroom has gotten a colorful makeover with all the stalls getting a different color, a bathtub being placed in the middle, as well as the showers getting completely cleaned and re done. No more cracks and mold and mildew all over the place. The kitchen is really fun because it's almost exactly the same except for this time it is green instead of orange and we've replaced all that metal pipes and stuff with wood and plants and it's very warm and cozy in there now. Outside it is a lot different as we have now plastered it in white brick. Everything is white and bright and colored and green covered in greenery. We see that in the back. It is now completely changed and we have a two-story area back here. Downstairs on the first floor we see a door and that leads to the new sauna that all the house guests can use whenever. And then upstairs we have a new sky lounge where house guests can hang out and peek at everyone else high from above. It gives off a little bit of privacy and a little bit of distance between them and the rest of the house. House. We see that a lot of the house guests are still in the living room, which is super bright and colorful, and I just gotta say, I really love this house. Now again, I am having the same issues with uploading it, and it's telling me that the file is too big to upload to the gallery. So if any of you guys have any suggestions on how to fix that or what to do, let me know. Um, so right now, it is not available on the gallery, however, I am working as hard as I can to figure out what I gotta do to get it up on there. We see that half the house is pretty much gone from being in the living room to being in the bedroom. This makeup bar is really grabbing everyone's attention. I'm not too sure if it's because of the mirrors or just they like to sit down at the bar type of area. Um, but I do have to go ahead and call Allison into the newly decorated diary room. Um, we see that it's gone with a colorful twist as well. And I'm calling Allison in here because she is the big boss for the week. Now we have gotten rid of the ministries. However, we have not got we have not gotten rid of Big Boss. And Allison is going to have to nominate face to face this week as now instead of it being the Ministry of Love duties, it is the Big Boss's duties. So Big Brother kind of gave her a little bit of a warning, a little bit of a heads up to make sure that she knows what's going on as nominations will be taking place later today. And of course, that means that we will be having another eviction here on Friday, which I feel like is going to hurt a little bit more now that they just got this really nice place. I mean, I'm sure that some house guests in the past wanted to leave, but I wouldn't want to leave this house. It seems as though the makeover has not cheered up Charlie, however, as she has gone, picked a bed, and has started to cry in it. I guess that's one way of um, calling a bed for yourself or assigning a bed. We see that a lot of the house guests are still at the makeup bar, while Brian and Pete kind of chit-chat at the bed in the far corner. Um, I gotta say, I love how everyone is putting on face masks and really... Uh, you know, living it up to their true celebrity lifestyle at the makeup bar, really pampering themselves. We see that uh, the house guests in the kitchen also have face masks on as Rylan, Luke, and Gemma kind of chit chat and talk and kind of get to know their new surroundings. Oh. 
At 11.07, Big Brother decides to go ahead and introduce the task to everyone, as this week's task will be separating the girls from the boys and putting both of them in bands. It's going to be a complete battle of the bands, boys versus girls challenge. So Big Brother goes ahead and calls all of the girls into what used to be room 101. However, it is now decorated into being a nice music area. And all of the girls, all of the house guests are going to be assigned one part in the band, depending on what skills they had or what kind of fit their personality. So actually, Isabel had the most singing and the most dancing skill points out of all of the girls. So she was placed as the singer. Gemma had a few dancing skill points, so she was placed as the dancer. Uh, we have Josie and Charlie on the guitar. Makosi on the violin and Davina on the piano. Now, uh, they will have time today to practice and then a little bit before their performance, but all of them are going to uh, each perform solos and one group ensemble and uh, whoever wins will be based on whoever does it the most successfully, obviously. Um, back in the main house, all of the boys and Allison are just kind of hanging around. It looks as though Pete has picked which bed is his, and he is declaring it his by self woohooing inside of it. Allison is hanging out with Luke in the storage room, and I gotta say, I love this green color. I find it so soothing. However, Ryland hasn't even left his spot in the kitchen, and instead he is singing to himself, and I gotta say, this is some really disturbing footage. At 3.27 p.m., the girls are still hard at work trying to perfect their skills, and I gotta say, um, autonom autonomy is on full right now, and all of them have still, like, not let go of their instruments and are still, like, going at it. Even Gemma is still dancing, so I'm pretty proud of them to just keep on going and not just give up. Uh, in the main house, we see that Luke and Ryland are sitting down in the living room having a little bit of their own conversation, a little one-on-one. -on -one in this new cute little area by the memory wall and of course this house has a ton of CC and a lot of it is by Hey Harry so definitely check that out as you can see on that lamp on the table was some of that um, and of course a lot of the boys are now heading into the kitchen to cook up some food however Allison is hanging out with Pete and Craig by the makeup table uh, I love that this is like the number one hangout spot in the house when it was just these couches they never hung out out there I don't know what it is about the island bar that really like compels them to go in there it seems instead of making food a lot of the guys have decided to instead grab a couple drinks prepared by Cameron whose skill points are increasing more and more every day and the weather is heating up nicely outside At 5.02 p.m., it looks as though Craig is breaking in that brand new bathtub and is deciding to have a little soak and play in the bath. Um, he's feeling a little bit playful. Now, this bathtub is a bit tricky because it is in the middle of the bathroom. There's not too much privacy, so you have to kind of time it perfectly for when you want to take a bath. Right now is a really good opportunity as there's not that many house guests in the house. Um, it seems as though Cameron, Pete, and Brian are still all hanging out by the makeup table but they soon start <laughs> coming into the bathroom and uh, interrupting Craig's bath however he doesn't seem phased at all he's not embarrassed he doesn't get out he's enjoying his time in there regardless of who's in there meanwhile Pete is heading outside he's the first one to actually enjoy the garden and he's popping open that brand new grill of theirs and grilling some plantains or something from the looks of it not too sure. Uh, however, even though these are all brand new toilets, they are, however, already all broken. Thankfully, though, Luke is at it and is fixing them right away. However, I gotta say it's pretty disappointing. I'm pretty sure it was Brian that went around and pranked every single toilet. That way they all had to be broken before anyone even really got to use them. 
the girls are still going strong in the music room, still trying to perfect all their skill points. However, Allison is being called to the diary room as, as it is now her time to vote, and she has to do it face to face. So we are going to go ahead and call in her nominees, and one of them being Charlie, so she does have to go ahead, put down her guitar, and head into the diary room. And Allison's other nominee is Ryland, who is now coming to the diary room as well. Immediately, Allison starts pointing fingers, mainly at Charlie, who I gotta say is pretty easy to nominate. She's always picking fights with everyone, so you don't really need that many excuses to put to point the finger at her. And it seems as though Ryland agrees. However, Allison is not gonna let him go out easy. She's like just because you agree with Charlie doesn't mean that you're not wrong in ways too. And she starts pointing out his flaws and reasons to why she nominated him. However, he's actually taking it pretty well. Um, he doesn't seem too upset by it, and neither does Charlie really. But of course, Charlie is always really chill and <laughs> easygoing about a lot of things. She might pick a fight, but she's going to run away at the end of the day. And it seems as though even though Allison has brought the fight to Charlie, Charlie isn't really baiting. She's not really not really biting at it, and, and instead is just kind of laughing it off and waiting to go back into the music room. <laughs> and Ryland, surprisingly, he is one that would normally get upset about this kind of stuff. However, um, I think because he's with Charlie and because it's Allison, who is really fun to be around and really easy to get along with, he seems to not be taking it too seriously, though. However, Charlie does have to give one last insult and jab at him before it's all over. Um, but that does conclude Allison's votes. We see that outside, uh, the boys are kind of eating, but I'm going to go ahead, stop them from eating, and gather them into the living room. Same with the girls. However, I did forget to unlock the door. Um, I am going to call the girls into the living room as well, as now we are all going to take turns nominating uh, in the diary room one by one, per usual, like we normally do. Of course, all these nominations are based on relationships statuses and um, how close or uh, how not close they are between their other house guests. Now, house guests, once you do finally all sit down, we can begin nominations. Alright, house guests, you know the drill. Nominations cost five big bucks. The house guests that do not have enough big bucks to afford it will not nominate. We will not be having an immunity this week as it has gone up from 25 big bucks to 50 big bucks and none of you can afford that. So Pete is going to go ahead and be our first to come to the diary room and nominate. And his two nominations are for Charlie and... Sleeping Luke. Our bad girl Charlie is next to come and vote, and her two nominations are for Ryland which I'm not too surprised by. She did just fight him. <laughs> and Makosi. Now we have uh, Charlie, Luke, Ryland, and Makosi all on the leaderboard with one point each. However, it is now Makosi's turn to come and nominate. Makosi's nominations are for... Charlie giving her two points and Gemma giving her one. Drobus uh, uh. Josie is next on our list to nominate, and her two nominations are for the in-house celebrity Isabel. Bully Galanvush. Ah. Save Rimprash. 
and Davina. Again, she <laughs> keeps nominating her, even though Davina picked her to be in the house. However, it does give both Isabel and Davina one point, putting them both on the leaderboard. Now it is Luke's turn to come to the diary room and nominate. Luke's nominations are for Craig, giving him one point, and Charlie, giving her three. Brian is next to come and nominate, and these nominations are pretty regular for him as he nominates Charlie, giving her her fourth point, and Makosi, giving her her second. He is very persistent on nominating the two of them week after week. It is now Isabel's turn to come and nominate. Oh. And Isabel's two nominations are for Josie, giving her her first nomination, and Makosi, giving her her third. Alright, house guest, and with that, nominations are complete. And we have three house guests facing eviction this Friday. Those three house guests being Charlie, Ryland, and Makosi. And of course, like always, it is up to you guys to vote for your favorite and to save them from going home. Just comment down below as many times as you want for however many house guests that you want. Uh, and you have until Thursday. You can also head over to my Twitter and vote on the poll on there. Who do you want to save? Charlie, Ryland, or Makosi? Let me know down below. It is up to you to save your favorite. At 9.32 p.m., it looks as though Charlie has fallen asleep outside after eating some food. Don't know why, when she now has a luxurious double bed she could potentially spend uh, by herself in. Um, some of the house guests are having to double up, though, as there aren't 13 beds in total. It looks as though, as some of the house guests sleep, Josie and Gemma chatted up in the bedroom before the lights go off. And Ryland is the first house guest to head over to the sauna and put that to use. Of course, once he walks in, he has to take in the smell of the freshly applied wood. And then he lights up those coals and gets steaming. And I gotta say, I love saunas. I'm surprised none of them have really gone into it yet. However, it is summertime right now in the Big Brother UK house. So it might be a little bit too hot. Therefore, they wait until the end of the day. Not too sure. In the kitchen, Isabel is in there whipping up a cake, and I gotta say, the nerve of her to pour the cake out of the bowl and into the pan in the oven that's like two feet below her is pretty impressive. Um, I don't know if I would have done that. Seems a bit dangerous. Meanwhile, in the living room, Cameron and Luke seem to be having a nice little private one-on-one, -on -one, and I gotta say the colors of this house are almost blinding compared to the colors of the previous. I feel as though I'm narrating a completely different show while looking at the footage. Um, it's really insane, but as a majority of the house guests have finally made their way into bed, Big Brother goes ahead and turns off the lights in the bedroom. And after that, uh, Cameron soon makes his way into the sauna to join Ryland. Um, he first strips off all of his clothes and goes completely naked, um, which is honestly the proper way to do a sauna in my opinion. However, he soon then dresses back up and puts on a towel as I guess he feels uncomfortable being naked next to Ryland. But it's so strange because like as soon as he puts on a towel, then he sits down and kind of makes a move on Ryland. They start flirting and he has his arm around him and um, they're like hitting on each other right away. So I'm just kind of like... Was the sexual tension too strong without a towel? Like, I don't really understand. However, they are both accepting each other's advances. 
and they're getting pretty close, right looking there. deeply into each other's eyes. Rylan's even even massaging Cameron's shoulders, and this is giving me a lot of material that you can probably see on Cameron's OnlyFans. <laughs> well, actually, it's probably just on Twitter. Isn't OnlyFans ending? I don't really know. Um, however, Rylan in real life is married, so if he was married, like, you know, if this sim was married, this would be a pretty scandalous storyline so far. Um, but things do slowly, and not even slowly, fastly <laughs> progress, and um, they soon are putting their clothes back on, only to uh, share their first kiss as things completely heat up in the sauna room. They soon leave the sauna and head upstairs into the Sky Lounge. They're not only the first ones to break into the sauna, but they're the first ones to break in the Sky Lounge. And they go up there, and instead of hanging out and looking over their fellow house guest, they decide that they're going to use one of these stools to do a good old woohoo session. So... I think we can say that this might be an official romance going on in the house, as I don't think uh, Cameron has really hooked up with that many other people, so this could get pretty serious. Outside, Davina and Brian pick up some food, while after Isabel finishes her hamburger cake, she soon falls asleep at the dining room sofa. Charlie is one of the last house guests to make her way into bed. However, she can't really decide on what bed she wants. She first goes to share a bed with Josie. Then she heads to the back to share a bed with Craig. And then she goes to the bed that she cried in earlier. Uh, only to then not really decide on that one either. And through all the commotion, she then wakes up Craig, who was sleeping naked. Um, so then he just kind of stands up and is like looking around naked in the bedroom <laughs> it's so bizarre eventually though charlie does just make her way into the bathroom to use the toilet and get ready for the night while davina angrily washes dishes but again we have three people up on the block and one of them is going home this friday do you want ryland mikosi or charlie to be saved comment down below what do you think about the new house let me know all of your opinions on that down below and if you got any tips on how to get it on the gallery and i will see you guys tomorrow for another episode bye